okay fish in a bank here throwing an a-rig figured with the water clarity which was I don't know between a foot and two foot that having some extra movement um, like an a-rig would work really good hitting this bank uh, was a rocky shoreline obviously you can see the road there some riprap off that anyway with the water being what it is this side of the lake gets most of the Sun and with the rock I just figured it'd be warmer therefore more potential to hold fish. A rig I didn't get anything on it so here I've switched over to a square bill again still thinking the crawdad pattern uh, early spring chose a bright red um, square bill uh, Livingston I believe and so just kind of slow crawling that thing out figuring the fish are a little on the lethargic side so anyway end up going down this bank um, with the with crankbait and really didn't pick anything up here um, didn't didn't even get a bite so I'm still kind of thinking you know this early spring pattern so you're gonna see here in just a second um, I'm gonna get another uh, another rod here and um, go to a spinnerbait thinking that you know with the water clarity and that big Colorado blade on it uh, figuring that that I could slow roll it and um, get a little thump out of it it's dark colored and I figured I'd cranked out down this bait or down this bank while I was uh, looking for some fish and uh, checking my screen nothing not seeing anything did see a few bait fish here and there so I, I knew there had to be fish in the area and I knew that they're going to be drawn by the heat of this bank so wasn't giving up on this bank um, I could kind of see down a little bit a little point jetting out into the lake now this lake is pretty round not a lot of major structure on it there's only just a few points on it so um, I figured a point might be might be a good choice so what I decided to do is here um, change over and go to a lipless so I'm getting to this point I've actually grabbed another rod and have a lipless crankbait on here um, kind of varied retrieves so where I'm at right now is about 20 feet of water drops off pretty fast um, into about um, goes from about 3 to about 19 and then the point that runs out here is about six seven feet deep and goes out into the lake uh, probably about 50 feet so anyway I figured I'd fish both sides of this point um, and then maybe up on the point uh, figuring the fish were probably holding just off to the side so and lo and behold we start hooking into fish I ended up pulling I think three fish off of this point so it was a good choice So I apologize for camera angles and stuff. First time out, first time using the cameras again. Wasn't quite dialed in on that for sure. So again, my sincere apologies for, I, I didn't even capture hooking this fish, just that I'd landed it. So anyway, uh, as I said, about three fish off of that point. 
and um, no more. Some people actually rolled up on it from the sh shoreline and started fishing it. There were um, about four of them, and they were casting all around there, and I didn't get anything afterwards. So basically what I did is I moved across the lake. Here's another point that I found. You can kind of see the rock, how the rock comes down into the water. Um, it was pretty windy over here. I was really having a hard time fighting the wind with the boat. Actually, a little small, I think, on my um, bow mount trolling motor. It's only a 45 pound. Um, it's only a 32 pound on it when I bought it. But so, anyway, I, I pretty much got to be on high all the time when I'm in the wind like that. But it can kind of be a pain. So, I came over to this point. It was a little different, it was kind of sandy and rocky um i was using side imaging to kind of scan around i could see some bigger boulders and stuff so wasn't really there too long and ended up catching this other little small buck bass so we're at number four now i believe um moved a little further down the bank and um there was kind of you can see some rock, but there is also some seawall in there. I figured the heat from that might hold fish a little bit better. So, um, they weren't actually around the docks. They were kind of in between the docks. So, I don't know what they were doing if they were kind of scouting out for um, potential places to bed down the road. But... Uh, I think, I think maybe there was one like right on the corner of a dock, but other than that, they were kind of out in the open towards the back. Again, I think being where the water was warmest. If you can kind of see, you can kind of see that storm back there. This next shot, you'll see it a little bit better. That just skirted me, and apparently that dropped like one to two inches of water in town. Uh, I got sprinkled on, but I didn't get drenched. <laughs> I'm so glad it missed me. Anyway, so I picked up, I think, I think by the time I left there, I'd ended up with seven. Um, most of which were a pound, a pound and larger, probably. Um, quite a few of them, pound and a half, to not quite two, like one, one and three quarters. Um, that big one, I think, was about three. Anyway, end up uh, basically fishing would be the southeast corner of the lake here. Um, picked up a few fish here. Um, they were really small though. I mean, like my lure is almost bigger. <laughs> um, I did see a couple of really good sized bluegill though. That was pretty interesting. They followed the bait in. But. So water's a little warmer here. Uh, this bay that's just past this dock I think is one of the first to warm up and actually see spawning fish beds on it. i um, seeing indications of that last year. So anyway, for first time out, still fairly cool water. I was pretty pleased with the fact that we ended up with um, nine bass total. So anyway, decided uh, it was time to get home. So Thank you very much for watching. If uh, you found this video informative, interesting, please uh, subscribe to the channel. 
hit the like button. And again, we'd like to thank you very much for watching.